Star Zone back at it again, this time with some help from Ransom. The Fire and Ice 256 gigabyte image with over 32,000 games. Yeah, it's a lot. But mind you, there's a lot of old school games on here. If you're a fan of Commodore, Amiga, Atari, and other old computer-based gaming consoles, uh, look no further. Uh, something with just a massive amount of collections. Um, this is 256 gigabyte. So it's a larger set, but um, you know, hack games, demos, um, even hack games for some of the systems you usually don't see, like Amstrad and MSX. Um, ton of stuff. First thing you'll notice is just um, really great theme and artwork. They even customized it a little bit. It does have all the bells and whistles attached to it. Um, it's fairly optimized. Has the bezel project installed on it. But uh, as I mentioned. Um, what sets this one apart is literally all the hacks, all the consoles, and especially those old school like Apple II, Amstrad, Amiga, all the Commodores, um, all the ZX Spectrums. If you're into that, look no further. And you know what? Before we jump into it, look at that. The Drew Tox Collection. The Darish and Ransom Collection. The ETA Prime Collection and that little pixel collection. So these uh, uh, these image creators, uh, Darish Zone and Ransom, asked us all to make our own custom collections, and uh, I did so. I imagine ETA Prime and Mad Little Pixel did as well. Oh, and there's also a community. People in their forum chat room uh, contributed to this list. So let's go ahead and check it out. Why do you have a <laughs> the bottom of a tire on your forehead? <laughs> I'm going to include you into that bit. What? It's recording. Oh, shut up. All right, so going along with the uh, open theme or, you know, new theme, uh, instead of RetroPie setup, you were looking for a option that says system. And uh, this does have the Easy Hacks Toolkit installed. It does have the latest version of RetroPie. Um, background music is playing. I turned it off. Um, and it has some other scripts on here. Wi-Fi works. Uh, you're all good in that department. As far as file size, this is where things get a little disappointing. This file is a little bit larger. So if you're running a SanDisk Ultra 256, this will not work. You need a Samsung SD card. Um, the file size is 238 gigabytes. That's 256 billion, 87 million, 425,000. So you see they cut it really close there. As I mentioned, close to 30,000 games. Um, last played games here. Let's go ahead and start with Amiga. 2369. Amiga Hack 72. Um, as far as artwork, I believe um, it's usually just pictures. So no video snaps for, but I think they might, let's check it for the consoles later. Commodore Amiga 1200, you have 1700, uh, 172 games. The WHD load demos for Amiga, 823 of those. Amiga CD 139, Amstrad 2300, Amstrad Hacks 108. So who knows the hacks, no artwork. Uh, Apple II 897, Arcade 1500 arcade games. Um, yeah, it looks like just artwork there. Arcade Hacks 21, Atari 2600, 710, 5299, Atari 7856, Atari 800, Atari Lynx 83, and Atari ST. That's what I'm telling you about. They got all the Ataris on here and over 3,000 Atari ST games. Um, so that's why the three, and then here you got 5,000 Commodore 64 games. So that 32,000 number, like there's 8,000 8, ROMs right there. Um, so Commodore 64, 5,315. Uh, Commodore Cartridge, 64, 309. Commodore Compilations, 125. Demo Scenes, 922. Um, naming's a little off here. So, mm, harder to uh, 
to see all that's going on there. Um, Commodore Vic 20, 5427, a little bit better setup there. Commodore 128, 38, no artwork there. Commodore Plus, 367. Coleco, 139. CPS System, 79. Three Daphne games, the, the main three most people want. Dreamcast, only two games actually. Um, and uh, you can always add your own, but you're going to need like a 400 gigabyte SD card or a hard drive or something, as this is already pretty tapped out, or you got to delete some stuff. Family Computer System, uh, 288. Family Computer Disk System, 134. So, yeah, it's just video. It's just uh, no video snaps. Game & Watch, 54. Game Gear, 267. Game Boy, 489. Game Boy Advance, 1036. So you do have the hacks on here. There's some cool games like the Super Mario hack and Street Fighter hack. Game Boy Color, 588. And Television, 118. Sega Master System, 289. Master Mega Drive for Japanese, 185. Mega Drive, uh, US and Euro, 759. Mega Drive hacks, 372. So that's why I say, I mean, it's pretty much every game you can possibly think of. All right, MSX 670, MSX Hacks 86, Nintendo 64. Okay, so they skimmed here, only 33. Um, let me just look at these games here. Some of these games are still going. They do have Die Hard 64, which is a hack game. Um, Mortal Kombat is not going to run very well. So interesting selection, considering a lot of these won't run very well. A lot of them do, though. I'd say over three-quarters of them run <clears throat> Neo Geo, I mean, you can always overclock as well, get a little bit better performance. Neo Geo 140, Nintendo 704, Nintendo Hacks 358, Neo Geo Pocket 82, Open Bore. So it does have all those open board games that we're seeing more often, um, but they are on here. Uh, they're coming, becoming more and more standard, especially on some of these larger images. PC Engine 379, PC Engine CD-ROM 5, pretty standard collection there. PC Engine Hacks, you don't see this all the time. That's cool to see all properly named there. Ports, you do have full versions of Doom 1, 2, Final Doom, Plutonium Doom, and TNT Doom. So all you Doom fans out there, you got all the good stuff. PSPs, only uh, 16 of them. I'm a little disappointed there's no 321 Super Crash. No, it's fine though. A um, few games there. PlayStation, this is intense. 400 PlayStation games. <laughs> It's almost worth grabbing this engine just for the PlayStation and PlayStation image. So that's pretty impressive, the amount of PlayStation games that are on here. And I'm just going to kind of get through these because I know a lot of people like to see on the PlayStation end what they're uh, looking at. A lot of Mortal Kombat, Need for Speeds, Oddworld. These pinball games are on here. So some thoughts about this image is it's really beautiful. The artwork is amazing. The loading screen. There are uh, the bezel project you'll see later on each game. Uh, there's also loading um, screens for the actual image. And there's loading screens for the games as well. Um, and uh, as you see, custom artwork are around all over the place. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. You see this little banner in the upper left-hand corner. You know, uh, it would be cool if you could remove it. I'm sure you can if you go to your... Um, Okay, so you'd have to install your own. They have this custom one on there right now. Um, I mean, I really like the HD-ness of it. Um, I just don't know if I would want that little banner in that corner the whole time. All right, Genesis 32X, 37, Scum VM, 11. So not a lot of Scum VM, but some of the best. I mean, to be honest with you, these are the Scum VMs I would play if I was to play. Maybe a few others are missing here, but the most of them are there. This is a Sega uh, Collections. Uh, Sega CD. 134 so a massive Sega CD collection SG-1068 Super Graphics 5 um, Super Famicom 227 Super Nintendo 777 Nintendo Super Nintendo CD pretty cool that they included those Super Nintendo hacks 208 and they look like they're well um, hacks and prototypes uh, they look like they're pretty well Organized. Vetrix 26, Video Pack 75, Virtual Boy 27, Wonder Swan Color 92, 6800 Sharp 94, ZX Sinclair 1700, Z, uh, ZX 81 Sinclair 622, and then now we have collections, you know, Mega Classic Games, Arcade Classic Games, the, the Mini Commodore 64. So the community's cool. These are all games that the community wanted to put in the image. And uh, there's some awesome games here. So right here where we are in the image is really cool. I might download the image just for this to have like, especially if you don't know what games to play or you want to, you know, 
you know, be introduced to new games. I love the Blockbuster video reference in this photo. That's awesome. You got the Drew Talks collection. Um, I just did this, if you're wondering where I did mine, you know, he asked me um, on Messenger and uh, I just thought of like all my favorite games I really, really enjoyed playing as a kid. Um, and these are them. These are, and some of them are not. Like uh, you, my fans actually turned me on to Demon Front because I liked um, uh, Metal Slug so much. Um, and then uh, some I played as arcade. Some, you know, they're all really, really fun games. Most of them I beat. I think I beat most of them. All the ones that you can actually beat. Uh, I think I've beat most of them. Uh, Donkey Kong, awesome, awesome game. Okay, and then you have there the image creators' favorite games. Lots of uh, Amiga and Commodore games. I want to say. Yeah, in their collection. So if you want to check out Amiga Commodore, I'd head over to here and see what they pick out as some of their favorite games for those systems. Um, pretty cool stuff. And they got some NES games as well. You'll notice a lot of us select some of the same games. Um, ETA Prime has a lot of, you know, um, side-scroller type games. GoldenEye, all the Sonics, Sunset Riders, cool arcade games. He also picked the X and then some good more arcade games as well. Sega Classics, Mega Drive Classics is a collection, then Mad Little Pixels games, some baseball games, Castlevania games, a couple of racing games, Pepsi Man, of course, a couple of fighting games, um, quite a few, I guess it's just the first two games are baseball, that's why it seems like everything's baseball, um, but not that many uh, games. And they have the NES Classic, and these are all the PlayStation Classic, the Super Nintendo Classic, and then back to all of your games. Um, little hint, if you need, if Amiga's not working, go ahead and start this, the um, the uh, emulator for Amiga, and change the processor. That might be the reason why your Amiga games aren't uh, loading. Once you change the processor, reboot, and it should be working fine. Some of these systems, like Atari ST, may require a keyboard. Open Bore may require a keyboard. Um, some of the other systems may require a keyboard. But for most other systems that require a controller, it should work just fine. Um, there is no track mode on this. It is an emulation station build only. So it started laggy and then uh, got better. Wow! Finish! Thought it's done. Stage one. I heard ready? flawless. Ready for this? Three, flawless. Hands are there so you know you're in the right spot. Oh. Watch out. Perfect. Look at that. You want to use all the rest.
worry about it. We got it. We got it. So final thoughts. Um, I'm a little disappointed that the file size is wrong. Um, I wish that it would fit on a SanDisk Ultra because most of my SD cards are SanDisk. Um, if you have a Samsung out there, you're not gonna have an issue. But some people right on the border, you might have some issues, especially if you're not using a Samsung. Um, so that's not the best. Um, what I do really like is that it's just loaded with Amiga and Commodore 64 stuff, but also that 400 PlayStation collection is pretty nice. It does have those scripts installed and things, scripts installed. So, um, you know, it's fairly set up. The kind of thing I would want and, and all the tweaks I would want and the scripts I would want are on there for the most part. And um, so for, for all those reasons, it's really cool and I really like it. And it's doing something that not a lot of other images are doing. But as far as the bad, it doesn't fit on the sand disk. It's a little laggy, I've noticed. Like when you launch a game um, and, you know, other images, it might just be because there's so many games on this image. Uh, and I don't think it's my SD card because I've, I've ran this one before. But this image is just, it was a little sluggish to me. And, um, it, you know, it's just when you're loading and exiting games. I, I noticed the the lag a little bit. So just be forewarned. It might just be mine, but I do just want to, you know, let you know that um, I'm not a super big fan of the upper left-hand corner DZ and Ransom Fire and Ice label that's on the image the whole time. I think it'd be cool if it was maybe if it went away after a little while or that might have just been on the starting screen. Um, I do like that it has all these hacks on it. So that's really great. So with all that said, I'm going to give this one a B plus. Um, as far as uh, Dar's Zone, I really liked his last 128 gigabyte, the Omega or whatever that was called, I want to say. was uh, I was a more fan of that. Um, this one, it's really great as a first time. I think there's some polishing that needs to get done. Oh, and another thing I found on my screen at least was that some of the bezels just weren't lining up quite quite correctly. That might have just been a couple of games, but like Mortal Kombat 2 for arcade. Um, also, the Super Nintendo games were slightly cut off, but that's the Super Nintendo thing is not a huge deal, but with the arcade, you actually couldn't even see your full um, your health, so you got to do a little bit of modifying for that. Um, now, with all that said, there's 32,000 games on here, you know, with like some of the file naming, it's just it's so much work. So, you know, you know, I'm just trying to find the littlest things, but at the same time, it's, it is a ton of work. So really good job guys. And uh, like I said, if you, you know, fix a couple things on here, I think it would it'd just be right on, it would be perfect. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.